ousted Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont has traveled to Brussels, amid reports he will meet with Flemish nationalists, after Spain's chief prosecutor announced charges of rebellion, sedition and misuse of public funds will be brought against the Catalan government. Belgian immigration minister Theo Franken, a member of the Flemish separatist NVA party, said Sunday it was not unrealistic that Belgium could offer protection to Puigdemont. Mr Puigdemont has been joined by other members of the deposed Catalan government and will make a statement later on Monday afternoon, newspaper La Vanguardia reported. If Mr Puigdemont is tried and found guilty of all three crimes, he could be imprisoned for 30 years, the maximum jail sentence allowed under Spanish law. In a brief announcement, Jose Manuel Maza did not specify whether the prosecution would ask the Spanish High Court to remand Mr. Puigdemont and his associates in prison while the accusations are investigated. Mr. Maza also said that the same accusations would be leveled at the Speaker of the Catalan Parliament, Teresa Forcadell, in a separate complaint that must be sent to the Supreme Court for procedural reasons. Work resumed normally in Catalonia and calm reigned on the streets on Monday. Despite calls for civil disobedience from secessionist politicians, in early signs the direct rule imposed to stop an independence bid was taking hold. Catalan separatist politicians are holding meetings in Barcelona with their eyes set on a regional election in less than two months called by Spain's central government to try to end a push for independence.